Well, good morning, everyone, to the WBNL Coaching Canva Corner with Matt. We talked about it last week during our podcast. Every Wednesday, we are going to go live around 7.30 in the morning, 7.45, and give a tip, a trick, or a hack for how to use Canva better in your business. So if you don't even know what Canva is, that'd probably be a good place to start this morning as we start off this series. So just hold on one second. Let me pull up Canva on my computer, and we will go from there. Before we get started, let's talk a little bit about Canva. You can get it free, so uh, the, there's a link. I don't know if these these notes show up later. Uh, I think I don't know if they do in the replay, but it's Canva.com. So we'll, we'll put it in the remarks after we, this thing posts. That is correct. Canva.com. You fr- create a free account. And now, all right. Can you see my screen? Okay, Jana Brian. I can. I can see right. Canva. Design anything. Canva corner. That's what you can see. Nope, design anything, Canva, in your Canva. Where the heck? How come I'm not sharing like us? We did this the other day and it worked perfect. I was seeing your I was seeing your I know we saw it yesterday when we when we did our test last week. This all worked perfectly. What are you trying to show? Well, you'll see in a minute. I'm trying to do the presentation like we did last week. Oh yeah, you you have to do it for Canva, right? There you go. Isn't it presenting? Now I see a page. Yeah. There we go. All right. So let's talk about Canva. And you do have two different versions of Canva that you can use. There is a basic version, like Dan was just talking about. It's free and it's free forever. This is an awesome tool just by itself. You don't have to upgrade and do the paid version of this because in the free version of Canva, you get over 250,000 free templates, which is crazy. And the templates are awesome in Canva. And you can use them as they as they are, which we're going to see in a minute, or you can customize the templates to make them, you know, your own flair and your own brand and everything. There's 101 plus design types, social media posts and all that kind of stuff. Hundreds and thousands of free photos. This is a treasure trove. I'm telling you from a marketing standpoint, because if you go onto a lot of these places to buy stock images, it can really start adding up. The dollars can start adding up on you. Uh, and then there's uh, ways you can invite people to, you you know, to work with your Canva and all of that too. So that's the basic. Now you could upgrade to Canva Pro and it's $12.95 a month for up to five people in your team. And then they have different programs. If you have more than five people, the price goes down a little bit. You have um, more able, uh, more ability to collaborate uh, with other people on your uh, team, but you can do more of a, there's a branding package that is, is is uh, involved in there. There's a really cool tool in the pro called uh, one click. It's called magic resize, which if you're working on, let's say a flyer or something, and you want to resize it to a Facebook post or to an Instagram post, you can click whatever you want to resize it to uh, hit magic resize, and it will actually resize your image and all the stuff on it to the size of that other uh, uh, type of of media that you want to, to, to give out. So you don't have to go and recreate things to across your platforms. You can create something you like and then use it across all the different things you are um, doing online, uh, which is are super helpful and a huge time saver. Uh, you have more design templates in pro. You have more, way more photos, 75 plus million stock photos, and videos. Can you, pardon me. I have a quick question. So yeah. with pro, you don't, it used to be that you would pay a dollar for certain things. Now it's all included in that 75 million, obviously premium stock photos. That's right. That That's alone right. is worth the 12 95 a month. Oh my God. Like I was saying, the stock photos alone in this is what's crazy about it. it, it and the pictures are good. You know, we use them yeah. all. I mean, we literally use them all, all week long, all day long uh, at WBNL coaching. So there's just so much you can, um, you can do from, um, uh, from uh, when you're when you're on pro, but like I said, if you don't want to jump in and start paying twelve ninety five a month, get your feet wet. Go to Canva, uh, get the basic program. It'll give you a thirty day. I think it is free trial, or you can sign up for pro for thirty days. That's what it is. You can sign up for pro for thirty days, and you won't be charged for thirty days, and give that a little free trial. So anyway, a lot of options there. Canva is a great program, super easy to use, and you're going to see that if you are a Canva user and you're watching today, a lot of this is probably going to be a little bit basic for you. Um, but if you have not used Canva, you're you're going to see that this is a great way to do marketing for yourself. Super easy, super fast. A lot of things are already there and it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. And it's 
seriously going to up your game. So today, what we're going to talk about is Zoom backgrounds. Uh, you know, we actually started using these Zoom backgrounds in Canva way back in March when the pandemic hit, and we all started going online virally, or um, uh, not virally. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, if we uh, to to do all of our Zoom meetings and our consultations and everything. So we discovered these Zoom backgrounds early on. Another nice thing about Canva is they are really early adopter to things. And if there's something that's coming out or there's something new that's happening in the world, for example, the COVID-19 pandemic, they jumped right on it with not yeah. only a variety of Zoom backgrounds, but all sorts of marketing materials and things just to make people more COVID aware. So in your workplace, you could post up posters and things like that about masks and social distancing and stuff like that. So they're really great on staying on top of of uh, what's going on in the world. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Canva templates in general. There are Zoom backgrounds in there already. So we're gonna go walk through a little bit of that. We're going to take a, just a, a moment or two and we're going to go in and build our own uh, templates. So you can kind of get an idea of what's going on there. What we're gonna to do today is not really so much business related. It's more fun for Thanksgiving because I figured since Thanksgiving is tomorrow and a lot of us are hopefully not out traveling. Although I did hear that, you know, there were still 40% of the normal amount of people at airports yesterday, um, uh, you know, doing some Zooms with your family in a way that you can kind of stand out from everybody else and uh, just kind of make your uh, Thanksgiving Day Zoom a little bit more fun. So uh, how you can build your own templates. And then I'm going to show a couple little things on how you can maybe become the life of the party tomorrow or uh, when you're Zooming or anytime you're Zooming, just to really kind of make things even a little bit more okay. personalized to have a, a little bit of fun for that. So let's go ahead and jump in here, here. Let me bring us back to the actual Canva page and we can get started. All right, so this is the home page of Canva when you are logging in anytime. First time, anytime you're logging in, you're going to see this. This is going to give the whole wide variety of things that's available on Canva. They give you all jumping off place for all the templates and everything there. Your designs sit right here in this second line. So you'll click on there and all your designs will come on in. But first, I want to go up here and just show you how you can easily and quickly find anything in Canva. At the very top, there's a search bar. We're going to type in Zoom virtual backgrounds. Go ahead and click on that. And that'll bring you to a page that has all of these virtual backgrounds already loaded in. It is super easy, super um, uh, uh, convenient for you. There are probably 100, oh, there's 232 templates already in here that you can yeah. choose from. And you can take these and even edit farther into these. Or you can, this very first block here talks about how you can create your own um your own background. So if you look through here, see, you know, there's some vacation-y ones, there's some office looking ones in here. Uh, some, some of these are- you know, like, Aren't some, some like, aren't some, yeah, like that globe. Yeah, the globe's a video, mm -hmm. the fish tank's a video. So you could put mm -hmm. a video on here. I, I think the video, I don't know the size of the video that Zoom like will, will allow, but they're somewhere between 30 and 45 seconds, you know, really. Um, so those are kind of fun backgrounds. Anything with a little bit of movement always catches people's eyes, right? So that's kind of a fun thing. I love, it, this is still, kind of a big deal, the Zoom background. It's funny, Jan and I were in a presentation we were giving to a group in uh, Colorado and Arizona the other, oh no, it was a Long Beach group where they were commenting on everyone, oh, I like your Zoom background, I like your, you know. So it's still a little bit of a thing. I know when the lockdown first happened, started and everyone discovered having a background on Zoom, it was the big deal who could one up everybody on their backgrounds, right? So, um, so I always, of course, am one to be, you know, I think less is more, right, Jan O'Brien? Um, more. So you, more. you can do some subtle things in your background that can be a, a lot of fun. So anyway, I just wanted this obviously is not getting into Thanksgiving, but I wanted just to show you that there are a lot of options here in Zoom that you could jump in and do. And then, you know what I would do if you were just going to, um, you know, have a need a background for your business. Let's just click in here on one real quickly. So here's one here. This is already set up like it is a, uh, you know, you could actually just go in here and modify this. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Oh, We're that's seeing because I'm. Um, you have to go to the new window. The screen, and now I got to go to the screen that I'm on. Exactly. It's got to move over. Moment, hold a moment in tow here. There we go. There we go. So this one was already set up as a, uh, a background. You can go and just re-edit it. Jim O'Brien. Mean of coaching. Is 
super easy to go ahead and modify. We can take this. I mean, like I said, if you, once you get used to Canva, you'll you know all the little features. So I'm not going to go into every little thing here. Here over at this side was the logo. We can go in and drop the WBNO logo in here super easy. I have yeah, a Yeah, totally. Will you send this to me? Yeah. <laughs> I was working on this and I did what was I was using this actual background and I was trying to get our logo over there. I have a folder set up over here with all of our logos in here and you can see we are That's the benefit though of that upgrade, the pro Absolutely. that you can set up your fonts and your logos and have a whole folder for that. Oh that looks nice. So see we'll throw in the WB and L logo over there. Kind of straighten this up a little bit. Anyway, we'll we'll change it. And to where you it. Could, well, you'd be generally sitting right. Your head's going to be right where that. Yeah. Is. One thing you have to really remember in Zoom backgrounds is in the middle of the. Don't put anything that you want to be seen in the middle of your your image because it's right. going to be covered up by you. So everything you're going to want to do is going to be on either side of that. So anyway, so that, I, your point about uh, the popularity of this is that whole room raider thing. And uh, I was following somebody on uh, Twitter that was just totally talking during the election it's that leslie uh what's her name um uh she's a she's a contributor on saturday night live and she but it was so funny because that has become the thing everybody is making conversation around the person's background on tv yeah. or on the shows right because well that's a nice zoom background or this person is off center what's going on in the background right i mean it has kind of become a thing exactly and for another year it's going to be the thing so you get it right people that's that's yeah. exactly right so anyway, it's e super easy to just put your logo in something and maybe add your name or just add your logo, you know, just to make it a little bit more personalized than just, you know, you sitting on the beach in Hawaii. I mean, you know, I would be, you know, Jan, how I am with things. I'd be hiding the WBNO globe, like in the coconuts yeah, right? and palm trees and, you know, stuff like it's that. Balanced, that right? This is so this is kind of nice because it's balanced, right? Do you like yeah. that aesthetically it's balanced or you could just put the logo over in that little black area, right? If you this want. is the beautiful thing about all of this. You could do any of that because you can, all of this is adaptable. So you can take this out. I'll take the logo out, put the put a different logo in. How's that look oh. with that logo there? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that, or not even that. I mean, there's so many options for what you can do on this. Nice. If you have your stuff loaded in, you're ready to go. You could just oh, do it. Oh, cool. Now, sound you like know? that. That's cool. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's super easy. The more you work in Canva, the easier it will be for you to navigate through and to add your your elements and everything to it. Well, I, now, you know, I'm sorry. I just, I'm really learning from you today. What if I wanted to add something over on the other side? What if I wanted to do something else, like now that that logo is there, but I wanted to go ahead and add like a backdrop or a black area or another thing over where the white wall is on the right hand side? How do I do that? Well, OK, like you did you want to add more text? I wanted to add maybe my name or something and then but but it's not going to show up nicely. So I, I always get confused about how to add yeah. the background. The easiest way to add a background is you go to elements. This is the easiest way. And, you know, if you're out there and you're a, a Canva pro, please leave uh, leave us a, yeah. a, a, a note to say, you know, if you have a better workaround, because, you know, the nice also the nice thing about Canva too, they have a lot of tutorial videos as well. Yes, they do, yeah. exactly. So you can go through all that or I'm telling you just just get in and start playing, playing with it. So I went to went to elements, okay. to shapes. I found this little square shape, which you can actually turn into rectangles or whatever you want to. Okay. You know, put it up over here. Let's just kind of frame it up in the corner. We'll make it black. And that doesn't look like that's a true. Oh, you know why that's not true black? Because there's some opacity to that. So I'm going to make that kind of match a little bit. There we go. So you can oh, see. That's cool the, too. So now you can see a little bit of the see-through. Yeah. But you can make it a little smaller. You can just resize you that. Do whatever you want to. And you can add your text here. Let's okay. throw something over here. There we go. Uh, just move it on over. And let's say you're going to have a, you're doing a, a meeting slide maybe. Okay. And you just want to have your agenda that's going to be up nice. behind you the entire time. You could do that, you know? Got it. And then you just add your text and then whatever you'd want to put on there. You okay. Can Another well, thing, you know, this is something that we, you can do if you're, let's say you're having a meeting with your group or you wanted to share something that you had created for a group in your, your meeting. You can, let's see here. Let me see if I can find it. I noticed it. the turkeys pop up there. So you could like make this topical to your place. Well, gonna that's what I'm saying. We're going to go over that in just a right, moment. Cool. Here, let me show you here. Now you're getting me very, uh, like, this is exciting now. Everyone uh, telling you, Matt is the master at this. I usually just say, hey, Matt, can you help with this? And now I've been wanting to learn how to do this better. So I'm happy to be in this series every week. Uh, 
being the people, if nobody's here asking questions, I'll be asking you some questions, Matt Emerson. I love it. So, so here's the thing, Jan and Ooh, I, you know, listen to us at all, and you watch, uh, you follow WBNL Coaching. We know you, uh, our specialty program, our, our uh, is a real estate team builder. We could do a background that just has a real estate team builder image that's up in the corner. Jan could be talking about the program, and up in the corner could be. Nice. Team. So, I mean, literally, there's a thousand. No it's infinite <laughs> the, the type of things you could actually do to your it's your to, imagination is the only limit and the thing about it is once again like anything in marketing and in real we tell real estate agents all the time you could go down the rabbit hole in here and you could be in canva for a month and never do anything else that is not what we want you to do we want you to focus on your business but at the same time we want you to up your game so you just figure out the two or three things you want to have done. You create that background for you and you use that background every single time. I'm going to tell you something. And I, Jan and I have talked about this quite a bit too. Consistency is really a key in branding. And if you're going to, not that it's not fun to switch things up and make things different and all of that, but at the same time, there should be a consistent element to your design. So if you're doing something for business, make sure if, if you decide on a logo, make sure it's the same logo every single time. So it, it, people start becoming familiar with it and they, um, will recognize your brand. So, all right. So let's jump into some Thanksgiving um, yes. options here. Doot, 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 doot. Let me see here. Was this my, was this my one? Nope, that was not my one. Let me go back. Actually, I believe it was just the actual tunnel Chrome tab. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we were at uh, virtual backgrounds, kind of going through that. I'm going to go back to the home page. So up at the top menu on the left hand side, there's the home button, and we're going to go into our designs. So you know, Jan and I, I don't, I don't. There's not a tally on here, but there's probably oh, I don't know, 150 thousand designs in here. I don't know, but sometimes I can't find some of those designs. Exactly. So let's go in here. We're going to create something for Thanksgiving. So oddly enough, even though I was just praising them for having all these backgrounds, they don't have a Thanksgiving background already oh, created for Zoom event, which I thought was a little bit odd, but whatever. Creative. Zoom to the, to or uh, Canva to the rescue. Uh, you can do so many different things if you're creating your own background. As a matter of fact, let's just, let's take this image out of here. So this is our blank slate. We can do anything we want to here. You could add uh, tag. Uh, well, uh, if you you're, if you opened up a new window, we're not seeing it. Oh. Every time you open up a new thing, oh, in the yard, you gotta, I'm still have, seeing all your designs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. There we go, Jan. Thank you for reminding me that. Of that. What's this one called? It's not like Zoom, the stream yard, no. huh? Yeah. Here we go. There so we go. we're going to start blank a, a, blank, a blank canvas here. And like I was saying, you could add anything you wanted to to this Zoom background. Uh, you could add text, you could add pictures, you could add elements, you could add video. I mean, literally anything you wanted to. So you can go as crazy as you want to on your Zoom background. And I always think it's best, especially if you're doing something like this with family, to make it a little bit fun. But let's just say you're doing something for work, maybe, or you're having, you're having your, instead of having your Thanksgiving potluck, you were having a Zoom get together where your office was getting together, but you wanted to have a nice little background, you know, that was going on there. You might want to choose a photo to go in the back. This is going to give you an example of how many trillions of photos are in uh, Zoom. First of all, if you hit the photo button on the left hand side, you can look through here. You can type what you're looking for. But at the top is trending our trending photos. Oh, cool. So right at the very top here, there's already a Thanksgiving button that you can select. People are looking for stuff. Oh, exactly. my gosh. So as you can see, there are hundreds. Fun hundreds of choices of things you can do for Thanksgiving in here. So here, quick, super quick. You can throw this image down, oh, size nice. it to your page, throw the thanks, happy Thanksgiving on there. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Oh, you, got a, you got a festive uh, Zoom background. Boom. Nice. You have a festive Thanksgiving background and you didn't really do much of anything except drag oh, and drop. Goodness. <laughs> now, see, this is the problem though, right, Matt? You get in here and you can spend hours looking through the millions or however many it was, 775 million. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So that's why I wanted to give you some ideas today to kind of get you thinking about what you might oh. like to do, what you might like to do before you actually get in here, because if you don't do that, you will be making your background for next Thanksgiving. Yes. 
And you won't even have to socially distance next Thanksgiving, hopefully. I'm going to make one. This is super fun. So anyway, those are, you know, you can do that. So let's <laughs> let's go in here. Uh, this is the back, a uh, nice little background that you can use. Let's just throw that back there. And let's just do something super simple. We're going to put in here a little text. We're going to say the WBL coaching Thanksgiving feast. Nice. That's our our uh, actual uh, brand font, but it doesn't look very Thanksgiving-y or very yeah. grateful. <laughs> so let's change it to my other favorite font, playlist script. Apparently it's up at the top. You must use yep. that a lot. I do use it a lot. And I put that over in the corner. This black is fine, but you know, not very autumnal. So let's change that to a nice little brown. And just once again, there we go. Simple little background over above your corner as you're speaking and they're talking or whatever. It's going to be talking about your, you know, the actual event that you're at. You could do anything in here, literally. Let's scroll here. Maybe you want to put a bunch of things you're thankful for on the side of your page, right? So you could be sitting here talking to your family and all around you. You could have little quotes of things you're thankful for. So Very nice. Here, you know, I'm thankful for my wonderful family. I'm thankful for, oh, I'm thankful for Jan O'Brien. You know, you could have a whole list of things going on there. If you're doing something okay. with your family, it's obvi obviously, it's cool if you, um, you know, mention their names, make it all about them. So when they're looking at it, they're seeing you, but they're seeing that you actually put some extra thought into them for the holiday, mm -hmm. right? So just something else you can throw in there. Now, literally, like I said, you could do anything you wanted to on this. I was playing around when I was getting, you know, kind of, literally, we could talk for an hour on this. I'm, I'm as scary as it always is. We always, we've already been on for 20 minutes. So mm -hmm. We'll try to wrap this up. <laughs> but um, you could put a, a crackling fire in the background. So that could be your 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 you know the background behind you how you do there's that a lot of, well you just go down here over on the left hand side you know there's a video oh, section video. yep okay, yes, so right. here's a fireplace right here as a matter of fact oh my goodness so now so Matt, I have, I have another fires. quick question you're yeah. a fan of doing what you're doing right there resizing it as opposed to using the 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 um templates the uh, whatever they call those things where it snaps in why do you not like that? Like, oh, I'll tell you. Are you? I know what you're talking about. You're like talking down about, there in page three. I can see that you have one of those spots for it. Yeah. If you go over here to elements, there is a frame. Frame. Okay. Right. If you put a frame in here, and this is actually really good if you want something to be a just to fit in that particular side. I see. Right. Okay. Here's the problem. You can't put verb text over one of these frames. Okay. If you put a text in here. If, uh, you can put text, but you can't put a uh, PNG image. Like you couldn't put our logo in there because uh, what would happen is it would it would take the whole image of the logo and it, uh, whatever you had in there. Oh, I see. It doesn't fit. Really, in there. Yeah, you can only put one thing layered over the frame. That's why I don't use these unless I want a particular size. Like I want a circle. Or you or want a headshot of someone and you pop the headshot in there. Right. That, absolutely. I always use them for things like that. Or there's, I'll tell you another one that we use a lot in, in our business. And you might use this a lot as in, in you, uh, your business if you're making flyers. Oh, yeah, that one. Okay. Is to add the there computer you. frame or the laptop or, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Thank so, you. Yeah. So, so anyway, good. so you could throw a video in here and the same thing. You could add uh, verbiage over your video text boxes over there if you want to continue to do that the problem that i was finding with the like fireplaces most of the fireplaces are in the middle and once yeah. again you have to remember okay. they're going to be behind you so it. you know you might not want to do that here's another thing if you're on a trip like you know yesterday my sweet pea and i went up to um uh sequoia for the day you know, we took a few little short videos there. You could take a video of, a, you know, someplace you've been on a trip. And if you've been with the family, imagine if there was a loop of the family mm. behind you as you were, you know, in your Zoom. It would just be something that would make it super, super personal. Nice. So a lot of different uh, well, things you can do there. Now, speaking of being uh, going on trips and stuff, oh. here's an idea that you can throw in that, that uh, could be fun with vacation shots. This is, um, uh, you know, uh, my sweet pea and I always go to New York every year. Thank you very much, COVID-19. We are not in New York right now as we speak. Not happy about that one bit. However, you can live vicariously through your past vacations through um, throwing a bunch of pictures into the background. Now, I like this particular frame because, once again, there's a big picture in the middle that's going to be blocked. 
<laughs> by me, you know, yeah. so kind of some, I, this, all you would see basically in this is a couple of buildings and the, the uh, background, you know, the, yeah, it's still kind uh, of cool, though. Yeah. And you might see a little bit. This is the highlight actually in New York. So you would see a little I recognize bit. It. But there's, you know, there's eight pictures, four pictures on either side that you can throw some pictures in. So the way these frames work, just because we were kind of talking about it just a second ago, you uh you have all these different boxes. These are pre-sized in here, and you can oh, just that, drop it. Was that an option? Was that eight four by oh, four? Oh, they have all kinds. I'll show you. If you keep going oh, down. Okay, you I thought you made it. No, let me show you. They they oh. had every frame. It's called. Oh, grid. okay, cool. Grid. Down here, it, it can be the same. Oh, grid too, and it can go all the way down to check this out. Like wow. minutely. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A lot of different things. The shapes get a little bit strange depending on the size of your project. So if you're doing something that is uh, like this, this actual template that I have in this on the screen right now, yeah. these boxes on the side look square, but when they get in this stretched out version, you know, it stretches to the size of your, your, uh, Okay. Your, your your media. So it's super easy. I already threw a bunch of pictures in here, but let's go back in and we'll we'll finish this top box and I'll show you how, show you how easy it is to throw the pictures into the um, actual frame itself. Oh wait, this was an upload. You can say that we. You can see that we use it a lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's just take that. You just literally you take the picture out of your images. You dra whoop, drag it over, and there we are. So you just drag it right in. And you, once you're inside that frame, you can click on it and move things around a little. Yeah, bit. you can open it up. You can make it a little bit oh, bigger. Cool. It smaller. Now here's the thing: it will size to the size of the frame on a from a width standpoint. Okay. So sometimes the frames can be a little bit tricky. Uh, you, you because it will it, it's not total flexibility with that, but there's pretty good flexibility. Where's that? That's an interesting picture. This is a cool building, and I forget what the name of the building is, but this was used in Superman as the uh, Daily Planet because there's oh yes, okay. Exactly. All right, so here here is the background. You know, this also gives people in your uh, family Zoom meeting oh tomorrow at Thanksgiving or anytime. Uh, you know, something to, to look at and something to talk about. And once yeah. again, if you ever went on a vacation with the whole family you could put memories from different uh vacations you went on back That's here great idea and you could even go a little bit farther so let's say you have some little ones in your group that you're trying to keep uh you know entertained during your zoom meeting now uh our niece and nephew, uh, Maya and Lucas, are too old to play this game. But if they were a lot younger, and probably if they were younger, it would have been fun to have this up and talk for a little while and say, you know what, you guys? How many pictures does Uncle Matt, as Uncle Matt waving in? <laughs> where's Where's Waldo? <laughs> yeah, you do it just like Where's Waldo. So you notice in this, this particular thing, Uncle Matt's waving in every single picture except for one. <laughs> you know, so you can play all kinds of little games like that or hide little images with inside here. Yeah, and that's something to look for, you know. So there's a lot of little um, uh, games you can play in your Zoom background. And you know what? Honestly, it doesn't even have to be with kids. You could put things in there that mean something or are something, mm -hmm. something funny that your family might want to see. Kind of hide it in the background of your Zoom uh, virtual uh, background find it first. and see who finds it first. That's exactly right. Okay, now this next thing, uh, you do not have to be a uh, marketing professional to have fun in Canva anymore. No longer do you need Photoshop to have some fun. So this next one I thought was particularly humorous. And I think that is something that we will be creating for our Zoom meeting that we're going to be doing tomorrow. And it's creating a whole little turkey family of your friends. And um, <laughs> so you will see on here is a couple of Jan's uh, team members. Uh, this is Cosmo. Her Get out uh, of here. That's funny. So let's go in here and let's make Jan O'Brien the lead turkey in this particular Zoom background. Shall Whoa. we? Oh my God! You're going to show us how to do this? Yes, exactly. So you'll go into now. If you are brand new to Zoom, you're going to have to actually upload, obviously, images to this, so you have something yeah. to work with. We have trillions of things already here. <clears throat> So we're going to go down into our OMT folder uh, images. I forget. Oh, no, it's folders. Uh, there's Jan O'Brien. Let's pull Jan O'Brien's picture in here. Now, is this the most professional uh, Photoshop uh, version of the world? No, but it doesn't make any difference. You're putting heads on turkeys for crying out loud. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be realistic. So we're going to hit crop. We're going to crop this picture down. So it's just close enough just to being Jana Bryan's head. Okay. Okay. So there she is. We're going to hit done. So there's Jana Bryan. Oh, I see crop. Okay. 
All right, so we're gonna keep this highlighted and we're gonna go to effects. Now this is a, all, a relatively new feature in Canva. It's only been here for a few months. It's a background remover. It's the coolest thing. I use it all the time now. Click on background remover. Get out. It will think about it, think about it. What's the background? And then after a few seconds here, the white background will be removed and it's a PNG of Jan's head. Get out of here, sweet. Now we just reduce Jan's head size a little oh, bit. Okay, you're giving away all your secrets now. Man. See where this is going, folks? Because, you know, not nice to call your business partner a turkey, but on Thanksgiving, <laughs> you can do it. Here we oh, go. So fun. And there's Jan O'Brien, the head turkey of the group. Right. Okay, that's super fun. Now, if you want to resize these things, there's a here's a little trick on this. You can, if you click on her the image of that you you know one of the images in your group, hold your shift bar down, click on the other image. The group. So both those are highlighted. Hit group. That makes this one image. So now we can make Jan O'Brien a very big turkey if we want to. <laughs> yep. Okay, Matt Emerson, this was really, really fun. So, you know, there's a lot of things you can do with photos. There's a lot of things you can do with, um, you know, images and memories of your past games you can play in here by adding secret hidden things within your uh, things. You can add video like we talked about or just do something simple and just, you know, put a happy Thanksgiving message or just even have a photo. Something's different. Something different than um, the uh, curtain in your kitchen <laughs> or, you know, yeah. whatever, whatever is on your, your wall in the background. Yeah. So that kind of wraps it up for today's very, uh, not short <laughs> Canva. Uh, okay. We had a, I had a lot of questions and I, I have learned so much in our first episode. This is awesome. Yeah. Because here's the thing about Canva, all of the stuff that you do in here is, is pretty much the same thing. You're just, I mean, you know what I mean? You're using elements, you're using text, you're using it, images right? and all of that stuff. And, and it's just a matter of finding the right templates and, 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 and working on your balance and your, you know, all your, you know, the, the whole layout of your, your images, but you can have a lot of fun in Canva and uh, Lord knows I do. I'm in here every single day of the year. So anyway, that's, that's it. I'm not sure what our topic's going to be next week. We'll come up with something uh, new cool. and exciting. We might jump back into a little more of a basic, uh, type of thing and look at some of the things uh, that you can use in your real estate business, even creating your own logo. I know a lot of people don't have logos and it's not the most important thing in the world for a real estate agent, but at the same time, you can create your own from a oh, thousand, yeah, different, talk about thousand different designs that they already have designed for you. Just put your name or your, your team name in there. So a lot you could do on that. Cool. Oh, by the way, I mean, we want to reach out to our Facebook community here for a second. We uh, are having a heck of a time connecting our StreamYard <laughs> account up to our Facebook group because we really want to do these in our Wandering But Atlas group, but we cannot get that connected for some reason. So if you have the trick for that, you please let us know. Put a, put notes down in the, or not notes in the show notes. I'm used to saying that because of the podcast, but leave a, a comment down below and, and, and give us a help out. Reach out. Help us, community. <laughs> That's it for today. I want everyone to have a super happy Thanksgiving. Please stay safe. I'm telling you, mask up, people. It really does save lives. And be forever wandering, but not lost. And we'll see you next week.